This game is Valve's love letter to Quake and their way of saying thank you to id Software for making Half-Life possible in the first place. Let us take a quick look at a classic game so classic, classic is in its name. Valve's Deathmatch Classic. Coming from Germany, I never really came in contact with Quake a lot due to our laws around video game violence back then. But what I did get to play was Deathmatch Classic, which is in fact Valve's remake of the Quake multiplayer. And when I first got to see Quake, I thought, hey, that's totally a low effort ripoff of Deathmatch Classic. I was a naive kid back then. Little did I know, it was the other way around. For the standards back then, Deathmatch Classic was an HD remaster of Quake. Nowadays it's of course all a bit outdated. Despite its age, it can be an amazing fragfest, especially if you play it with a bunch of cool people. During a recent community game night, we populated the servers and made our mark on the Steam stats. For those of you who happen to have never played Deathmatch, here's a quick rundown. You have to kill everything that moves. The one with the most kills wins in the end. Simple premise, but a good premise. It's the simple things one should enjoy, like going on a rocket launcher rampage and blowing up your friends. Besides the rocket launcher, the game offers you a shotgun, super shotgun, nail gun, super nail gun, nade launcher and lightning gun. Unlike the original Quake, there is no axe, there's a crowbar, because, well, it was made by Valve, of course there's a crowbar. Apart from the fun boomsticks, you can find armor, health kits and power-ups, granting quad damage, invisibility and invulnerability. For a limited time only, of course. Gameplay-wise, Deathmatch Classic, or DMC, is slower than Quake, but a bit faster than regular Half-Life Deathmatch. Deathmatch Classic was originally a free mod for Half-Life, but nowadays is a standalone product that can be purchased for a few bucks on Steam. And I guess in summer sale it's even cheaper. Don't expect the huge community to be left, but as with very much all of the old Valve games, you will find a few people still playing. Or you can just join the Escalation Discord server and join us on a community frag night. We do have them regularly. Also, of course, as with every old game, there is cut content, and that's material for a future video. And talking of future, there are projects seeking to remake DMC and Source. Years ago I came across this one, but this seems to be abandoned by now, no changes since 2011. But while looking for the old abandoned mod, I found a project that is very much alive, Deathmatch Classic Refragged. And you are seeing footage of a recent gameplay test right now. I had a little chat with the creators and had a look at what they've done so far, and I must say, they are right on the money, it's shaping up real nice. There's a separate video coming on this in the future, once it's completed and will be on Steam. This mod seeks to implement a lot more than just Deathmatch Classic. Longtime viewers of Tyler McVicker may remember 3-Wave. That cancelled Deathmatch Classic add-on. That's something that will be in the Refrag remake. So I'm really excited about it. I love Deathmatch Classic. It isn't a game I can play for weeks on end, but once in a while I return to it and let loose, and I hope you do too. If you do, come check out the Escalation Discord server and join us for a community frag night. And check out Deathmatch Classic Refragged. Links are in the video description, right next to our other social media pages and the link to our Patreon. Our supporters on Patreon got to see this video way before anyone else. Those wonderful supporters are Lone Wolf, Zat Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Theto, Reval556, Plasma, Tome, Rainbow Flash, Grislevia, Strange Module, Cop Fighter, Inter, Child Surret, Sir K, Ram Gilama, Zane, Scarch Warrior, Whiskey, Kristoff, and welcoming back, AX98. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten tag. Hey, you made it all the way to the end, so here's a little bonus thing for you, just for sticking by all the way to the end. That comment I made in the beginning of the video, thanking id Software for making Half-Life possible in the first place, have a little look into a bunch of game engines. Call of Duty's engine, Half-Life, Source and Source 2 are all based on Quake. Well, fundamentally. 
I'm going to link you a Steam curation list that a friend of mine operates. It's quite an eye-opening thing to look at, but that's gonna be a little secret between you and me. You know, you're one of the few 6% that actually stay till the end of the video. Well done. So, uh, goodbye and guten Tag. <laughs>